Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well. Uh, this is second part of this tutorial. And in the previous video we stopped with adding musical speech, feeling of intervals difference, to internal singing while playing. And today we're moving to the next part and our next step is adding phrasing to internal singing. So basically the second part will be all dedicated to internal singing. So the task on this stage is uh, playing both hands with correct twist and elbow movements while imagining every single note in tempo, harmony, dynamics and voicing with movement, with glissando in between notes and internally singing with musical speech and phrasing while playing. So all of this might sound a bit terrifying but i promise you guys if you just make layer by layer then um, with practicing and time all the tasks that used used to be in your mind about imagining sound that would they will just settle and um, it won't take much effort for you to imagine notes, for example, or to feel musical speech while playing. It would be already natural for you as soon as you start touching the key. Um, the same way with the language. When we start learning language, we learn so many rules and new words and we think how is it possible to even talk without much thinking. But now, you know, <laughs> we, we speak fluently and we don't put much effort to remembering every word. So, uh, phrasing. Phrasing is for better technique because it helps muscles to breathe while playing and don't get fatigued. <laughs> and phrasing is for better expressiveness because it helps music to have a line, flow, uh, it helps to reduce any static feeling while playing. You can again watch my playlist titled The Piano World Program to know and study this principle. Princi Pull <laughs> thoroughly. Um, now, keep in mind that phrasing can be done even without musical speech or any imagination. So this is the part for very lazy students, but still who wants to maybe improve their technique and play. But of course, when I'm making or my students are making, they're making everything together with imagination, with musical speech. So even if uh, it's the only thing you will try from the whole piano system, it could really help your playing um, significantly. So again, for those who are just starting this new principle, here is a step-by-step -step guide how to make it. So firstly, what is phrasing exactly? Phrasing is a structured intonation breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Now we're going to make the same routine as we did in our previous steps with intonation and musical speech, but this time adding phrasing. First, working only with the melody, focusing only on singing, not paying attention to imagination. So I suggest to separate singing and imagination part, and then at the end we're going to uh, mix them together. So we're going to start with motif first. To feel motifs better, you can start with using crescendo in dynamics as well. So this is important because with phrasing exercise we want to develop only one important ability to feel energetic crescendo and energetic diminuendo, meaning that you can increase and decrease your energy while internal singing 
while keeping the same dynamic. So that's the main thing to learn. But again, first I separate the layers and I suggest you to start with adding dynamic crescendo as well to your energetic crescendo. So you would it would help you to feel energetic crescendo better. Later, while using imagination, you will control your touch, yet fully feel energetic crescendo in phrasing. And eventually, when we're gonna play motifs and phrases, um, when we're gonna play motifs and phrases and sentences from the bigger perspective, all those exaggerated ways that we're gonna make now will be done more smoothly. So basically, what you need to do is repeat every motif after me. <laughs> Sing first out loud. Um, while singing, make an energetic crescendo to the last interval. So the last interval in the slur, one bar slur, is going to be our main interval. Always uh, gather weight before playing, as weight will help to emphasize more prominent sections and blocks. So when we play with weight and we want to emphasize something, weight help us to make it more powerful. And uh, if you still can't feel musical speech on every interval, then at least use it on the more prominent interval. So, for example, I know from my experience that for some students, developing sense of harmony and musical speech takes time. So, even if you can't really feel musical speech on every interval while playing and you already move on to this phrasing stage, uh, it's okay to just skip some intervals, but at least feel musical speech in the main interval, in the more prominent interval in every motif. So let's say, uh, you, let's see. So over here, we're gonna finish our first motif. That means that this ascending six is gonna be our main interval. So try to feel musical speech in this ascending six. Okay, so as we start with just a melody, um, let's just sing it out loud, <laughs> and this is how it goes. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know, this one really belongs to the previous motif. I'm gonna just imagine that I sang the first, <laughs> the previous motif before, so. This is our first motif, next one. Next one. Next one. notice that your motif would finish sooner than let's say your melody finishes but uh, when we're gonna make phrasing and sentence it all will start shining and um, beautifully will be beautifully played you will see it so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna first sing out loud then sing out loud and play then sing internally sing internally and play one by one, one motif at a time. So the first one, <laughs> again, we cannot sing this out loud due to quite a wide range of notes, but uh, we still can sing the melody. Now let's sing and play. Okay. <laughs> Before we couldn't sing it out loud, now internally we can sing everything. So let's just internally sing. And again, every time we sing, we uh, really bring our energy to zero. Like really not important. And then to, towards the end, we increase it to like, let's say, 100%. So. And internally sing and play. So 
this is our perfect motif. And again, as I said before, you can increase dynamic as well just for training of feeling energetic crescendo better. Okay, so let's go to the next. So first we're gonna sing out loud. Sing and play. Sing internally. Sing internally and play. Next interval. try to play the whole line and again you can sing along out loud first if you need but try to kind of separate it motifs in your mind and stop at every motif <laughs> again before right now it could be a bit like a bad taste but we need that to train ourselves better feeling energy later it will be almost smoothly mm. okay after this try to do the same with phrase <laughs> so let me just open the score because I quite forgot already so when you're gonna play, and we're gonna do the same by phrase right now, mm, when you're gonna sing and play, make energetic crescendo uh, in the more prominent red slur motif. So as you can see, uh, you would have sometimes two small slurs in one phrase, and or three, and one of them always gonna be a red one. So this is our main uh, motif in the phrase. Okay, um, so the first phrase is going to have three motifs, and the first motif more important. So I would sing again. <laughs> sing internally then internally and play do the same with next one first motive more important <laughs>
that's what you do. And after this, you go to sentences again, practicing sentence. Oh, no, after this, you can play again the whole line. Or let's say in this case, I don't know, two lines. Um, okay, so these two lines are going to have uh, three phrases. You can sing along out loud first if you want. If you already got this feeling, sensation of internal singing, then just skip to internal singing and playing right away. So, uh, in the score, sentences are separated with this um, dark blue vertical line. So, you can see uh, the first sentence is going to have three phrases. And the first phrase is a red one. So, every time we're going to go like from the mountain, from the hill down. So, again, you can <laughs> just... I think already play the whole sentence and internally sing, keeping in mind the whole actually picture of um, relationship um, of motives and phrases in the sentence. sensation um, while singing become more subtle for your right hand now you can do the same with the left hand now you don't have to already sing out loud because you really cannot sing out loud left hand now you just um, basically transfer copy duplicate the same sensations for your left hand while internal singing so you can start again uh, with just internal singing and playing um, Basically, try to stop after every motif to feel better those energetic waves. So this will be the first motif. When you would bring everything to the last interval, when you stop, stop it there. by phrases the same way and by sentences and after that you are completely ready to play with both hands again you can start first by motive while playing. So when you settle in your internal singing, feeling phrasing, um, knowing exactly the structure of phrasing, now you can uh, switch a little bit of attention to imagination. So basically, if you've done the previous steps of tutorial nicely, then by this time you really can just already uh, think mostly on new principles and those previous ones will be already in a way automatically um, they will come to your mind naturally uh, along with your playing <laughs> something like this in the same way as I told this if we learn a new language then um, 
we don't have to put so much effort to recall every word after we speak a language for quite a long time. And um, basically, this is exact order of what to think about before and while playing. And this is what I do. So before starting, you imagine the structural phrasing like for next couple of maybe sentences. Then you always try to get a weight. As I said before, weight will help us to emphasize everything, but we already know it. And while bringing hands to the keyboard, this, this very moment, you just imagine the very first notes, couple of notes, um, in the timbre, harmony, dynamics, and voicing. I'm telling you, as soon as you just tune on the first note, the rest of the notes will come up naturally while playing. And you start playing, expressing phrasing through intonation, uh, filling it in between notes. So by this time, sounds, imagination, hands, movement, and even musical speech are coming natural already, and you don't have to think about it while playing. That's what I already said. So uh, let me give you an example of how it sounds when I, look, when I play with the full phrasing. Yeah, and so I just want to mention again, so when you apply imagination, you can still expand your energy uh, according to the phrasing pattern, but you control your tone with your imagination, with your fingertips, so you don't make dynamic crescendo anymore. Don't be afraid to emphasize uh, something you want to emphasize in phrasing by taking more time. We are still uh, not in the timing um, stage yet, so we are allowed to do whatever we want this time. So the phrasing is quite actually easy to make, so it's not like you might spend a whole month to make it. I think uh, within a couple of days, it's available for anyone who's able to sing. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next stage. <laughs> 